Good morning, folks. We've got a fantastic bit of climate science today, and then a whole lot of catastrophism. The sun continues to wake up as well as we come to spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours on our star were a bit snappy. Everything seems in a hurry compared to the flow of sunspot minimum the last few years. Numerous small CMEs have erupted. We also have the Earth-facing coronal hole on the north, which is the cause of our ongoing earthquake warning from yesterday. Alert is peaking over the weekend here. We watched the X-ray flux rise yesterday as solar flares were produced at the incoming active regions. The darkened 131 angstrom view reveals those small flares as the bright flashes. Let's go back in time here to 2019. Our conference featured Dr. Brian Tinsley from UT Dallas, and he's one of the world experts on solar forcing via electrodynamics and the effects of cosmic rays. His examination of the data from polar stations shows the incredible modulation by space energy, and as he and others have repeatedly tried to explain, when you work the polar regions of the planet, you affect everything. We've spent a lot of time this year on the oceanic transport of forcing, but there are atmospheric ones too. The cells interact globally and do so very efficiently, and that happens on an even faster scale in the global electric circuit. The polar climate is the most reactive to energetic particle forcing, and that translates all the way to the tropical winds. Those with our textbook, you can find more information on this in chapters 4 and 5. Time to go underground. We know that across the world, people lived in tunnels and caves and sought shelter, safety, and even water. In Europe, these tunnels were eventually transformed into smugglers' runs and hideouts, but in the Americas, their use changed very little. With evidence stretching back to the end of the last ice age, the modern extent runs up to just over a thousand years ago, with clear evidence left behind of fires and char that were used to gather water melted from the ices underground. Folks, I want to remind everyone about the Hemp Lucid giveaway real quickly. If you use CBD or ever wanted to try, please know that these guys are very long-time observers and supporters of the group. They made this page just for you. Up next, Gale Crater, shattered shelves and dusty debris, the evidence of a deluge, a great flood, the type of world-ending disaster described from the Bible to Islam to Hindu to Einstein to Walker and Cuvier and Hibbins, and this may actually be from the last great deluge on Mars. It's easy to see the evidence on Earth via satellite or if you just walk out into the desert or some of the mountain regions, but to pull this over with the rover cam on another planet is pretty amazing. Now last but not least, in the wake of the Toba disaster 72,000 years ago, while Shoal's star Red Binary was intruding through the solar system, humans basically started from scratch. They had made it back to advanced Stone Age status in Western Africa within about 10,000 years, had only brief intermissions, but then stopped entirely about 25,000 years ago. This is exactly the time when the Lake Mungo magnetic excursion happened. The extinctions on the 12,000-year magnetic excursion cycle are much easier to spot for Gothenburg, Mono Lake, Le Champ, Vostok, and obviously Toba. But Lake Mungo is tougher, and while this isn't an extinction, the abandonment of a 40,000-year stronghold isn't done lightly or overnight unless the waves are torn from their beds and they do it for you. We greatly appreciate your support. We appreciate likes on the video, subscribe for top science news every day, and website members at suspiciousobservers.org. Your tsunami of catastrophism deeper look episodes continues. Been a heck of a two-month stretch, and yesterday we decided to analyze where the waves come from in the tilt scenario. Everyone talks about waves from the west. That's not what Einstein, Cuvier, Chan Thomas, or I believe happens. Pre-order the next end of the world, sounds funny, doesn't it? Or get our solar climate forcing textbook at otf.cells.com. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.